Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Okay, it's been a while. I have shot videos every day. Some days I shot three. Why didn't I post them? Well, because they all sucked. I went through and was trying to showcase some of the stuff that I got for my birthday and for Christmas. My birthday's at the beginning of December and obviously Christmas is at the end and I usually do pretty well. So I got a lot of cool stuff and I went through and I was showing that. The first time I did it, I did it handheld with the ZV-1 and it just looked, it was unwatchable. After I went through and watched, I was like, okay, that looks like crap, I can't do that. So I reshot it and it still wasn't right because I didn't use any lighting. And I thought that it was bright enough, but it was very grainy and blah, blah, blah. Looked like crap, didn't do it. I'm not gonna show you everything. I'm just gonna go through real quick and sort of recap what I got. One of the big things that I got was a 14 terabyte external hard drive. That makes four external hard drives that I have hooked up to my iMac now. So I have the 14, I have a 10, I have an eight, and then I have a four that used to be an internal hard drive that I took out of an old desktop system and I put it into a housing and then I use that as my time machine backup drive specifically, nothing else goes on there. So I had to redo all of the cabling and everything for the iMac because even though I had them labeled as like one, two, three, four, five, six of how they go into the ports in the back, I did not have those labeled as to what device they went to. So I had to unplug things one at a time to figure out what they were. And then I labeled the drive and the cable. So now I know, and I put it all in an order that makes more sense and gave myself a lot better of a setup for plugging things in, like all these cameras and all the charging things and readers and this, that, and the other thing. So it actually worked out really well. And I did that on Saturday. Now, in the meantime, uh, the other tech that I got, uh, I did finally get the third sister. So I got the 56 millimeter 1.4 Sigma lens. So that now I have, again, the three sisters. I've got the 16, the 30, and the 56, which finishes out any lens that I pretty much want. The other piece of tech that I got was the Insta360 ONE R. Now I did get the twin edition, so I have the 4K module and the, the whole 360 thing. The 360 thing is just trippy. I actually set it up in the Forerunner and, and drove and it was like, it was just trippy looking at, at the footage and everything. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. <clears throat> I did get a, a ton of accessories for it and you know, and I've ordered a few more today just so I can finish up having everything that I would need for that particular setup. In the Forerunner, speaking of, I showed you the last time how I put the monopod in the in the car, and I did not like the way that had mostly the window on the view and it was blown out. So I redid my dashboard setup. So on the center of the front of the dashboard now, I have a like a Manfrotto quick release mechanism and then I used an old iPhone case that I cut out the shape of the bottom of the Manfrotto device because the Manfrotto device only had it had cutouts of metal but it didn't have straight metal on the bottom so I felt like that wasn't going to stick very well so I put the cut out of the iPhone case on the bottom of that and used that Gorilla Tape and got it on there really good. And then I put Velcro across the bottom of that and Velcroed that to the dashboard. Surprisingly, it's a really, really tight fit, and giggity, and it just works really well. Now I've put everything on there to test it out. So I used the ZV-1, I've put the Insta360 on there, and I also put one of the A6600s on just to see if it would work. Right now, it's gonna work because it's been either in a range of 30s to 70s over the past couple of weeks that, that since I did that. The real test is gonna come in the summertime when it's 105 degrees out and the inside of the vehicle is like 140 at that point on the dashboard because it's in the direct sunlight the whole time I'm driving. And in fact, that's the only time my temperature warning light ever came on the ZV-1 is when I had it mounted to the dash because it was sitting in the direct sunlight. It didn't shut off, but it did give me the warning. So I had to redirect the AC to try to cool everything down. But anyways, what happens then is that it heats that adhesive up 
and, and a lot of the stuff that I have connected on the dashboard falls. And every time I come into the end of the truck, after it's been sitting for a couple hours, I gotta, I gotta smush it back up there. And I haven't found a way to, to defeat that. And I don't wanna screw something in to the dash or, the, or you know, any, any of that stuff. So we'll see how that works. But anyway, so I got a number of things for the 360. And going forward, I need to learn how to use it better and, and sort of incorporate that into what I'm doing. It more than likely, if, if nothing else, it will be the camera that I use on the dash when I'm driving around because it's small enough and easy enough to maneuver rather than the bigger cameras, which uh, are, are a little bit more cumbersome. Not to mention having, having that big setup on the dashboard like that attracts attention, especially from cops. And I don't want to get pulled over for having my view obstructive. Just this little thing here, just sitting on the dashboard, it isn't taking up any of the view. And I don't think a cop would stop me because people have their cell phones and shit like that on their dashboard. So I should be good to go. So I am, I don't want to say an avid knife collector, but I have bought a lot of knives over the years. I love, I love good knives. So I came across this company, White Knuckler. So I got this White Knuckler limited edition knife. And a little bit closer there. And there you can see all that detail on the, on the handle and everything. It's, it's really nice. And I was looking forward to, to, you know, I'd seen that and I was looking forward to it. So I got it. The other thing I got is this Casio G-Shock. It is the GA2100, which has the octagonal case. So it has been referred to as the Cassie Oak because it, resembles an Audemars Royal Oak watch. And I thought that was pretty cool. In another life, I used to sell high grade watches for a living. So, you know, I'm, I'm still big into watches and all that kind of stuff. What I'm not big into though, is spending stupid amount of money to have one. I mean, I, ha I have worn watches that were, that were tens of thousands of dollars. And I look back on that now and it's, and it's, yeah, I'm not going to do shit like that anymore. I don't, I don't really need to do anything like that. I have a few watches that I use. Now, what I've done is that, you know, I will still use my Apple watch, but it, it is only as a fitness device. I don't use it to tell time or any of that shit. I use it to keep track of my fitness levels, awful as they may be, my sleep, things like that. So that's what that gets used for. I don't use it as a watch. And, you know, I got a new, my wife got me a new skull bracelet and she also made me a bracelet for my birthday. So that's going to stay on my right arm. But, you know, I got this uh, Casio. And then what I did was I ordered a stainless steel modification kit that makes it really look like a Royal Oak. And, and I thought that was kind of nice. So that's what I did. Those, those were the two trees to myself for my birthday. Going forward now, I, I actually counted last night. In the last year, in 2020, I posted 166 videos. I have almost 200 videos total posted. So before that, you know, spread out, uh, I've posted almost 200 videos over the past couple of years, but this year in particular, I did 166. This will make 167. I'm pretty dang proud of that. That all came about not posting videos after I'd been saying for like over a year, oh, I got to start posting. I got to start editing. I got to start doing all that stuff. And because of the pandemic shutdown, I ran out of excuses. So that's when I started posting daily. And, and that really took up a bulk of it. I mean, that, that stretch there, I posted over a hundred in a row and, and sort of then sort of whittled it down a little bit. For the most part, I've been doing, I think, rather well. Now, going forward again, I don't know that I'm going to be posting every day. I don't know what is going to happen with my company. There are changes coming in the new year. I don't know what that means. I'll find out when I'm swimming in it, but there will be at least one video per week, more if I can, if I can swing it. If I'm not going back out on the road, hopefully, and things don't get too crazy with, with my day job, hopefully I can post daily. That means that I'm not going to be posting gear reviews, especially because I said I wasn't going to be buying new gear. Uh, today was the last thing I bought and uh, I bought the boosted battery for this Insta360 uh, because the battery life sucks on them in a cage. So other than that, I'm not going to be buying anything. What I'm going to be buying is financial freedom. I need to get my expenses under control and that's my goal for the year, which means I plan on taking what I've got and using it and learning how to use it better. 
So the videos that I'm going to post, I want to try to get away from them, you know, being as basic as they have been and, and maybe upping the game a little bit. What that means, I don't know. I still don't know that I like doing a Casey Neistat type video with a thousand cuts in it and a bunch of music and all that. It, it isn't really my thing, but, you know, I need to do things that are other than my thing because there's no way for me to improve what I'm doing if I just keep doing the same old thing. So that's what I'm going for. I hope you guys stay along for the ride. I hope I'm not too boring. The other thing that I have found in watching videos over the past few weeks, and I'm not gonna make any excuses, just a couple explanations, my speech has gone to hell. I swear too much. I have too many filler words. I went back to uh and so and, and things like that and having long gaps, which I try to cut out as much as I can. I don't cut them all out because then it's just like a, it's like watching a stop motion, you know, a shitty stop motion because I'm putting so many cuts into it. And it's really evident when I'm in the truck. If there's one place that I'm going to be swearing up a storm, it's going to be in my in my forerunner because I'm going to get really road ragey and I need to try to stop doing that. But I did find that that because I wasn't filming and posting every day that I lost the ability to speak with any kind of, of fluidity. So over the, the past two months, because I haven't been, been doing as much, I, I lost my flow, I think. And I want to start working on that. I'm not saying that I'm going to stop swearing because I've done that my entire life and I don't give a shit, but I'm going to try to do better and, and make these production values a little bit better. Now, the other thing, is, as I'm looking at my screen, one of the things that I did was Yankee Cowboy helped me sort of figure out what's going on with the whole pulsing thing with this A6600. So I'm using the Sigma 16 millimeter, but instead of having it at F8, I have moved it to F1.4, and my face seems to be in focus the whole time, and it doesn't look like it's pulsing as much. I hope it isn't. I'm not redoing this video again. I think that what happened was because I have the, you know, this flat plane behind me and then coming off at an angle with these bookshelves and having all the stuff that I put on the bookshelves that the autofocus is, is finding too many things to focus on. Now, the other thing is that I am literally like right here up against these bookshelves and the camera is literally like I can touch the camera and not even stretch that hard. I know that's not ideal, but I don't have a lot of room the way that I have this set up. In, in this particular office slash studio. What I would like to do is turn myself so that I'm facing, like uh, then at this point, I'm up against the wall towards the end of the house, but I've got, I've got over 10 feet going that way in my office, which gives me a lot of space. So I'm thinking about ordering one of those Japanese room dividers. And the one I like has a, it has the cherry blossoms on it and it's white, but with a black frame and putting those in front of the windows, which are right off camera so that I can block out that light and then moving myself up maybe three feet and then moving the camera like all the way further that way. So now I'm not right up against the background and it, it shouldn't be hunting for all that stuff. It should be going for my eyes and we'll see what happens with that. So that's sort of a wrap up of what happened with, with this last month. Uh, work has been a nightmare and that's taken up all my time. It's also made me very angry and that's why I didn't post a lot of those videos because you could feel the venom in, in my speech and what I was talking about and I didn't want to put that out there. It's been a great 2020. I, I've made leaps and bounds on this channel. I've posted a ton of videos. I've got a lot of interaction and I'm pretty happy with that. So I just wanted to take a minute to thank you guys for coming along for the ride. Hopefully you stick around. Hopefully we can, we can do cool new things as we, as we move forward and up. And yeah, I'm pretty stoked. That's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. Thanks for coming along and making this a great 2020 for me. And let's hit 2021 hard and, and learn some new stuff and try some new things and get some cool footage. All right. So as always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.